So we're going to try out the new tutorial today, a short one using adaptive components. So we're going to place a two-point adaptive component using Dynamo. So the first thing is you're going to open up a new family, metric generic model adaptive, and say open. So you're going to go to the reference level, pick a point, place two points, one on each side, and then you're going to select these two points, make them adaptive, go to the preview view. All right, so you're going to open the second adaptive uh, template, go to family, metric generic model adaptive, and say open. All right, for this one, we're going to create a profile. So you're going to go to the left elevation, select a point, set your reference plane to reference plane center left or right, and say OK. Place a point right there, select this point, make it adaptive. So you're going to select the line, start from this point. I'm going to make it 7.5. I'm just going to measure an angle between these two lines. So I'm going to make this 0 0.86 degrees, press enter. So remove this. And at this point, you're going to go down by 1.5, and then further diagonally down by 600 at 45 degrees. Take this to the right, select these two, mirror pick axis, mirror them towards the other side, remove this line, and then you're going to join this line with a single as a single line. So you're going to load this profile into that uh, first template that we have opened. And you're going to set your reference plane to the horizontal plane of this adaptive point, And then you're going to place your profile right there. You're going to do the same thing for the second one. Place it like that. There you go. So you're going to select these two profiles and then create your form. And when you drag these adaptive points, as you can see, your form moves along with it. So we move it like this. This is what it does. Okay, so now the next thing is you're going to open up the third and final adaptive component, uh, adaptive template, and say open. This is where we're going to generate our dynamic script. So you're going to press UN for units. Set it to meters and three decimal places and say OK. And then after that, you're going to go to manage and then open up Dynamo. So make sure you join my membership. I cover more different topics and much more exciting projects and advanced topics. So you're going to open up a new Dynamo. Uh, and just set this to manual. You're gonna double click for code blocks and just gonna repeat for the two of them. Uh, the reason being is it's gonna, it's gonna consist of the same variables, and when the code blocks consist of the same variables, it refuses to create like uh, two outputs. For instance, if we have if we have two point once in a single code block, it's going to generate only one output and then it's going to give you an error. So that's why I'm trying to separate them uh, in this uh, tutorial. So I'm just going to rename this to FRL, finish root levels, and then this one to FRL, and then also this one to FRL. So the first one is going to be P1 for point one equals to point, enter, dot by, enter, open bracket zero, Point zero point one zero four point eight six eight. Close bracket, semicolon. It's going to create that out. All right. So the next one is going to be P2 for point two. You're going to do the same thing. Point, enter, dot by, enter, open bracket. And the offset is going to be 16.125. Y is going to be zero. Z is going to be 104.546. Close bracket, semicolon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these two, paste them like, uh, okay, let's say undo. Uh, let's say redo. So this one is going to be, this one is going to be uh, P1, and this one is going to be 0, 0.0.1. 4.868 and then this one is going to be uh, p2 equals to point dot by and then it's going to be 16.125 0 4.8 and 
four and uh, five or six close brackets semicolon. All right, let's select all of these. Uh, select all of these and then control C to copy and then you're gonna paste them like that. Let's paste these ones like this. Okay, so this one is gonna be P2 and this one is gonna be P3 and then this one is gonna be P3 and then this one is gonna be P4. Right, so for P2, it's going to be 16, then 1 to 5, and then its Z value is going to be 1 to 4, 1 to 5 to 6, and then for P3, its Z value is going to be 1 to 4, 1 to 2 to 6, and its X value is going to be 2.1 to 5, and then P3 again, 32.125, its Z value is going to be 1 to 4, 1 to 2 to 6, and then the last one is going to be 103.93 and its x value is going to be 48.125 uh, okay so after this you're going to right click type in list create and then you're going to pull them two items and then you're just going to copy them like this so make sure you join them like this and then after that you're gonna create another list just to up and you're gonna copy them like that join them like this join them like this the next thing is you're gonna type in adaptive by points this is where your families are gonna come from next thing is you're gonna type in the last one family types and then copy them like this so before we do anything, I'm just going to go to our two-point adaptive family and I'm just going to load it to our script. So you're going to open up your dynamic script again, change your family, change your family, change your family, and then connect your family, connect your family type, connect your family type, connect your list to your points and run the script. So after you run the script, this is how it looks. All right, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.